Hey everybody, welcome back to Alan Wake. I am Mr. This is Alan Wake. He is on an adventure and I am controlling him like a puppeteer, one might say. Oh. What was that? I heard footprints. I heard footsteps. Footprints. I heard the Oh god. Well hey big fella. Did you fall on the ground, big fella? Oh, what's the matter with you? You look like you're all hurt. Oh, poor fella. Who did that to you? Was it the fantastic writer, Alan Wake, who also wrote this story? You'll bet your sweet ass it is. What were you doing up here? Watching, watching me kill guys? You demented little thing. I love you, anyways. Uh, come with me. Hmm? Follow, huh? Who's been writing those yellow things? Has it been God or has it been that Some of the fella? Taken retained echoes of their former selves. But really? these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Ooh. I do not like the sound of that. Oh, it's not a good thing. What? What? Oh. You almost got me, you son of a bitch. Suck a dick. Why is it trying to kill me, though? Well, I guess it's not trying to kill me. It's doing what I wrote it to do, or what she wrote it to do. Flip. I'll take those. Can't take those, but I wanted them. Oh. Looks like I opened Eldoro. Flashbang, my there old no friend. There's no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Really? My goddamn page. I wrote it. It's mine. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying oh. on his feet. So I get to meet him again. As I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. Oh. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Oh. Because it was written out that way, that's why he's so freaked out. He's worried that his death is coming. Because he's seen some of them come true. And he knows that eventually we have to kill him. Because he gets like consumed by the darkness or something. So, yeah. Ooh. That is a precarious spot, my friend. Don't worry, I shall rescue you. After we follow said barrel. Isn't nature a beautiful thing? Uh, this thermos. Uh, you have no idea how hard it was to get you, Mr. Thermos. Oh, God! Eat Flare! You're a butthole. Oh, my God. Get the Flare ammo. That's going to come in handy. Oh, oh, yes. We have got flashbangs and we have got ammo. No! Get out. Bad. Eat flashbang, you three. Okay, forward march. There's no time to look back. Oh no, not the tower. Oh, you're just knocking down trees again. 
The darkness against was trees. Ahead of me in the oh, same direction bad. I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Why would it want Alice? Why is Alice so important in this story other than whoever controls Alice controls the writer? God, a lot of people died up here. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Why? How? Oh shit. He's a toughie. Look who has come back to life. Now I'm out of ammo. So guess who gets a flashbang? Got two flare bullets, and that is it. It's not a good sign. Can I go in here, please? What? Why is... Is there ammo in here? For the love of God, I need ammo. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Oh, look. Pipes. Oh, God. Barrels. Stop that. No one likes it when you do that. Oh god, no! I especially don't like it when you do that. God. Now we read the page. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. I don't think we can really make him fight anything. Never mind. Am I gonna have to fight each and every one of them planks? Thanks, you just cleared my path! Or it makes me fight more inanimate objects because I can handle them without ammo! Ploosh! <laughs> oh god, more! I'm in a fairly safe place. There another one goes, bites him down the dust. Another one bites the dust down. Another one sucks the dust down. And another one sucks, and another one sucks, and another one sucks the dust down. Shouldn't have put a battery in. It's gonna be a waste of a battery if I don't fight something real soon. This bridge is gonna collapse. It creaked with a mere human on it. And now I've wasted the battery. Shit. Shit. <gasps> Not much of it though. Probably 50% of that battery was a waste. Can't stop me now, train car thing. Or, like the engine. Oh god, he can stop me. He can stop me. Take a flare. Or bang. I did not mean to bang him. Thomas, I did not mean to bang that man. Where is it? Is it on the other side? It is. Stop moving that big old train around. Big old piece of train, aren't ya? Gotcha! Oh, achievement got. Iron horse. Oh. Safe haven. Walk in, it's just. Oh, shit. Boo! Of course that's a safe haven. It's locked. Ain't nothing can get in there. Shit. Is that? Is that the keys? I'm going in. Thank God. Safe. Haven. Look at all the light. And shovels. 
and TV. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, but it, and a I... good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, <laughs> about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. <laughs> the whole time. It's just like, oh my god, what is that? What the hell is that? He's just mortified. Ah! Oh god. What the hell? What? Switch what? The pump? Oh, but I like the pump. The rifle does a bit more damage, but I like the pump. Hello, it's the time for had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was what? telling me to hurry up. Who? What? Oh. Why is your text message as long as the regular call thing? Okay. Sweet. Man. I have been all over these mountains. Alan is a lot more fit than I would be, and at you know at his age, I'd probably be dead by this point. I mean, he's going gray. I'd be definitely be dead. Oh, that one's got snow on it. I guess I haven't been that high up. I wonder if I get to see snow. Let the light bounce around. Oh, they're the bad birds. God, I am killing several birds. Danger, do not enter. Your ass I won't enter. This place I will. Down I go. And now I'm trapped. In the mine shaft of my mother's ass. It's a lot different than I remember it. Hello? Oh, this way. <laughs> Selling me. Uh, tunnel, go cauldron. Tunnel. Oh. Tunnel, go to cauldron lake. Tunnels, go to cauldron lake. Alice? Alright, well, we're going to call this episode here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. And, uh... Yes, yes, dear. I am naked, willing, and ready. Well, uh, if you want to, like, comment, subscribe, if you haven't already. That'd be awesome. Yes, lady. And, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. Bye. Click.